Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Alex and today we're going to be setting up Tailscale on our Unraid server. It's been by far the most requested video that I've been getting asked to make. I have a day off work so I figured why not do this and help you guys out and get it all set up. It's really easy and it only takes a few steps and if you're comfortable, one command line. So let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing I want to note is that Tailscale is a free service if you're only using it for up to three users or just yourself. Uh, if you do want to have more than three users, uh, you can sign up for the pers or sorry the personal plus plan, which is only five dollars a month. Uh, it gives you six users, a hundred devices, and access to nearly all Tailscale's features and share with family and friends and add on devices for fifty cents each per month. Now, they also, um, you know, that's if you go over the hundred. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it, it's honestly pretty hard to do unless you're a business or you're using a lot of IoT devices uh, in, in and around your mansion, I assume. But uh, anyways, uh, let's jump into the nitty gritty. So we're going to head on over to our Unraid dashboard. And then we're going to head on over to the community applications. And just really quick before I forget, uh, if you need help with installing anything from the community applications, uh, or anything Unraid related for that matter, I've actually spent the last little while building a OpenAI uh, Unraid chatbot. So basically, you can tell it what you want to do or what problems you're running into, and it's going to source all the tedious documentation that I manually added to the chatbot from almost all of the applications available from uh, community applications. And uh, you can ask any questions related to the installation that you're doing. Um, I've tested it out. It works really well. Uh, everything from beginner right through to uh, extreme expert. So uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below as well as pin a comment so you guys can easily find it. But I'm really excited about it and uh, I hope you guys get a lot of use out of it. And uh, if, if you've joined the Discord server, I've also put the link in the Unraid general chat. Uh, uh, text channel so you can check it out there as well all right so what we need to do is we're going to search for tail scale and then the one that we're going to set up is the official lime tech one it's super easy and um, if you want to make it an exit node we will need to use the command line um, but that's really easy to access we just do that right here but let's get this installed. So we're going to click on it. And then remember, this is a plugin, not a Docker container. So we're going to install. And it's going to go ahead and just start installing it right away for us. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that uh, to use Tailscale, you need to use uh, a single sign-on account. So that could be Apple, Microsoft, Google. Uh, GitHub, and then uh, there's another one there that I did not recognize. So this is now installed. That's amazing. Just that simple. And we're only, what, three, three minutes, 42 seconds in. So I'm going to go to Actions, and then I'm going to go over to Settings. Now, it's going to ask you, uh, or it's going to tell you that your device key has expired. So device key is, uh, it's like your server's secret key to let the other devices connected to your tail scale server um, know that this is, this is a part of our network, not a part of the greater internet's network. Um, so I'm actually already logged in and um, we can see here I have no devices added. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Unraid here, and then we're going to click on Reauthenticate. It's going to ask us to sign in. I'm going to I'm going to sign in with Microsoft. And then here I'm going to uh, just click Connect. And that is it. So if I go back over to the Tailscale dashboard. 
we can see that this is now connected and it is requesting to be used as an exit node. So in my case, I didn't have to use the command line. In other cases, you will have to use the command line. Um, so uh, we're up here. So I'm just going to close out of that. So we see this is running as an exit node, pending approval to run as an exit node. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make it so that we never have to re-authenticate our Unraid server on the Tailscale network again. And the way we're going to do that is if we go down to disable key expiry. So now the expiry, uh, the key expiry has been disabled. And the reason we want to do that is because we could be out in the world somewhere and we need to connect to our Unraid server, but the keys have expired and we don't have a way to access it other than our Tailscale VPN, which no longer is able to authenticate with the server. So that is a, uh, a good rule of thumb to uh, disable the key expiry. Next, we need to edit the route settings. So here, this is where we need to use as exit node. Uh, the next thing uh, that I want to point out is, um, oh, it doesn't have it here. Okay, uh, let's see if the documentation has it. Um, so in order to make our Unraid server uh, an exit node, uh, we need to put in a command line prompt, and I'm just looking for it. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we uh, we just don't need to do that. Okay, well, okay, save. It's being used as an exit node now. So if we go back to our Unraid instance, we can see this is in fact running as an exit node. Okay, so now we have our, our head server for uh, connecting to the internet from outside of our home. So what does this do? Well, if we're outside of the home and we need something from our internal network on a computer or on our Unraid server, uh, we download and install the Tailscale application to our phone or laptop, whatever device we're using. We sign in using the same account we uh, signed in our Unraid server with, and then it's gonna ask you to uh, put a VPN profile on your device, and then once it's connected, uh, you would browse your network just as you would any other device. Um, it's it, it really is that simple. Um, I personally do not use Tailscale. Um, I have my own VPN solution that I have baked into my uh, Ubiquiti router, and I prefer using that. Um, but uh, why don't we go ahead and uh, get the Tailscale app downloaded? And uh, we'll do that on um, on my iPhone. So uh, bear with me a second while I get that brought up. All right, so we see that I am on my phone here, which uh, let me get back to my home screen. There we go. So I'm on my my iPhone here. Uh, I am connected to Wi-Fi because uh, I have to in order to uh, phone mirror. So I'm going to open the Tailscale app. Uh, I'm already connected to my Outlook account. And then here, I'm just going to click Login. It's going to tell me it wants to sign in using Tailscale. I'm going to click OK. Sign in with Microsoft. Just going to pause this while I get logged in. All right, so here you're about to connect to the device localhost to English86 at iCloud or Outlook.com. So, see here, it's just uh, it's the iPhone information. So, click connect. And that's it. We're connected. If I want, I can select Death Star as a um, exit node. I don't have to, but if I was down in the States, uh, that's what I would do. And then if I want to, um, if I want to allow local network access, I can go ahead and do that. And that'll give me access to my server. So 
that is pretty much it. So because I'm on Wi-Fi, selecting Death Star as uh, exit node is, is silly because uh, I already have the same IP address anyways. But yeah, I mean, that's it. You know, connect your laptops, your, your Android devices, your iPhones, you know, your Amazon devices, you name it, uh, other servers, Windows servers, uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, Linux, Ubuntu, Kali, you name it. A whole host of options out there for you guys to to uh, get it set up. But yeah, that's it. It's done. That's it. Took all of uh, 10 minutes to get it set up. And I even fumbled for a minute. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy it uh, or enjoyed this video. Super simple, really easy. Um, the next video, I'm going to cover Pi Hole. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's another one that's been requested. And um, from what I understand, it's a little bit intimidating, you know, due to uh, all the settings and uh, options that need to be set in order to get it uh, successfully up and running. Um, again, it's not it's not something that we use in our house um, because the number one complaint that I was getting was that Facebook videos were not working. As soon as I disabled the pie hole, Facebook videos start working. And the, the reason why the videos weren't working is because pie hole also works as an ad blocker. And uh, from what I can tell, Facebook detects that there's an ad blocker and just won't play videos in response to uh detecting the ad blocker because if the video won't play then it can't avoid the ads and then you're forced to turn off your ad blocker so but um you know for for people who don't use facebook um you know it is a it is a great option for um cutting out the garbage while you're browsing online um I do not, uh, I don't personally like it because of the ad blocking uh, that it does to YouTube for content creators like myself who are trying to grow a channel. Uh, it does, um, you know, it's, uh, it, it hurts us. It, it hurts the, the platform and, um, you know, it just, it doesn't do any good. So, but uh, to each their own, I'm not going to tell you what to do with the applications and network services you run. Um, I'm just here to show you how to use them, and I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, so again, remember to check out the uh, Unraid chatbot that I created. I'll leave the link in the description and uh, a pinned comment, and um, I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy, guys.